Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to drive other important identities from complementary angles known as what co-function identities. We have a right angle triangle here. We have an angle of alpha and theta here. These two angles are what we call the complementary angle because they added up to 90 degrees. Remember that the sum of all the interior angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. This is already a right angle which is 90 degrees. Therefore, this two must give us 90 degrees. So I would like to work on with respect to theta. So let us write alpha in terms of theta. Because we know that if we write alpha and theta together as a sum, this will give us 90 degrees. This implies that alpha must be equal to 90 degrees minus theta. So instead of alpha, we are going to be working with 90 degrees minus theta. But before then, I would like to write down the six trigonometric ratios. Very important. Let me start with sine. Sine of theta. This will give us what? Opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Opposite divided by the hypotenuse. That is y divided by r. Then, cos theta will be equal to what? Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. That is x divide by r and lastly we have tangent theta this is equal to what our opposite that is y divided by the adjacent which is x so their reciprocals are also very important reciprocal of sine is cosecant so cosec theta is equal to r divided by y then reciprocal of cosine is secant secant theta equals r divided by x right r divided by x the reciprocal of tangent is what um cotangent cotangent of theta equals x divided by y x divided by y so i'm done with sine theta cos theta, all the six trigonometric ratios of this angle. I also need this one, very important. Uh, let me write it here. We have sine of alpha, but I'm not going to write alpha. Instead of alpha, we are going to write 90 degrees minus theta. So what is sine of this angle? It will be opposite divide by hypotenuse that is x divide by r uh, let me write cosecant um, that is the reciprocal of this cosec of 90 degrees minus theta this is equal to r divide by x reciprocal then coming to cosine cosine of 90 degrees minus theta you should remember that this is in degrees if you are talking about radian it will be pi divided by 2 we are coming to that as well cos of this angle will be adjacent divided by hypotenuse that is y divided by r its reciprocal is secant 90 degrees minus theta this is equal to r divided by y then the last two we have tangent theta which is equal to not theta sorry tangent of 90 degrees minus theta will be what we are talking about this angle so it will be opposite divided by adjacent that is x divided by y it reciprocal which is cotangent cotangent of 90 degrees minus theta will be equal to y divided by x all right so we are now good to go we are going to start relating them um you can see that we have y over r where can we find y over r here y over r is right here can you see that y over r which implies that sine of theta is equal to cosine of 90 degrees minus theta so i think i'm going to wipe this because it is no longer important sine theta 
is equal to cosine of 90 degrees minus theta. Next, we have x divided by r. Let us find x divided by r here. x divided by r. So it means that cosine theta is equal to sine of 90 degrees minus theta. And that's something I would like you to, to observe here. The sum of this and this will always be equal to 90 degrees. Just add these arguments. They will be equal to 90 degrees. Then we have y over x. Do we have y over x? Yes, we have y over x here. Which means that um, tangent of theta, tangent theta will be equal to cotangent cotangent of 90 degrees minus theta. Uh, what else? We have r over y. We have r divided by y here. So cosec theta is equal to sec secant of 90 degrees minus theta. We have r over x. Do we have r over x? Yes, we have r over x, which means that secant, let me write it here, secant of theta is equal to r over x. Yeah, this one, right? Cosec theta 90 degrees minus theta. Then lastly, we have x over y, which is this one. We have cotangent theta is equal to, that is tangent, 90 degrees minus theta. We have so many of them, right? One, two, three, four, Five, six. So I think this is all we have in this tutorial. Let me box them here for you to see. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. These are what we call co-function. They are very important. Sometimes you may be given an expression in terms of sine. Then you want to transform it in terms of cosine. Just look at the relationship. Maybe you are given cosine of theta. You are asked maybe to find sine of theta, but you are given some other relationship in terms of cosine that has to do with this. So once you realize that the sum of this angle and this angle equals 90 degrees, you are free to equate them to make this kind of relationship. Very important. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.